Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, and this is Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. So this is an energy of really withdrawing from a situation and seeing you spending time by yourself, focusing on yourself and listening to your own inner voice. Um, this is really spending time reflecting and um, really um, analyzing things from this perspective. This is a very mature energy to be in. And it's also quite an isolating energy. It's like you're, you're completely withdrawing from um, a situation or from a certain person and just focusing on um, yourself, listening to your own um, inner voice and um, practicing some sort of stillness here. So I do see you getting a lot of answers here, but it's like you're getting these answers from within. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay, so the first card we have is the Ten of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius Aries Leo Energy. Next we have the Full card, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so I do see here you're dropping some sort of a burden. Some relationship is becoming too heavy. It's becoming too much of a responsibility. And you may have been feeling like you were carrying that load all by yourself. Um, with that Ten of Wands, this is very um, an energy of feeling drained, feeling exhausted, needing to, um, you know, drop this load. And I do see you dropping it because we also have this Fool card, which is a card of somebody who has no baggage she's free she has no load on her so i do see you um withdrawing from a situation that was really depleting you and taking a lot from you and um really going within and freeing yourself um there is a new chapter a new beginning here with this full card and i do see it's it's a it's a much lighter one um with the queen of wands this is you um taking back your power stepping into your element i do see whatever this hermit energy this hermit mode that you're going into it's it's almost like you're recharging and you're emerging as this queen of wands energy it's like you're you're confident now you're you're in your power you're not going to do anything that you don't want to do and um you know it's like a very self-confident energy very attractive energy okay so let's clarify these cards Sagittarius Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius Aries Leo Energy. So this is an energy of a lot of communication coming towards you. Um, the person who you're dealing with may sense that you are withdrawing from them, and this could trigger them to really, I'm seeing a lot of communication from them. It's like they're, they're overwhelming you with communication. Um, they feel like um, you're you're turning away from them, and there is a desire to, to keep things going with you. So I do see this person um, really wanting to move things forward, um, wanting to hear from you, trying to find out how you're doing, and I, I see a lot of communication coming from them. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Sagittarius. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Swords. 
and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy next we have the seven of wands fire energy and finally we have the four of wands fire energy again okay so this person is seeing you as someone who's detaching from them um, with this queen of swords energy they are seeing you as somebody who um you know is practicing um head over heart decision making um somebody who's even a bit cold it's like you're cutting them out so this is how they feel and um they are seeing you as a bit cold right now and i do see them wanting to um you know fight for this connection this person is definitely not wanting you to withdraw from them but they can definitely sense it and i do see it triggering um them to really want to um initiate some sort of communication um i am seeing them doing more so than than usual it's like this person Person is really fighting very hard it's almost like they're even um, you know becoming a bit off balance with the way in which they're trying to um, get a response from you um, this person feels a bit vulnerable this person feels like the rug has been swept from under their feet this person is fearful and I do see them wanting to fight for this connection this person really is terrified of losing you <clears throat> with this four of wands this person may see you <clears throat> as a safe um, haven. They may see you as somebody who they saw a future with, somebody that they could have that happy home life with. Um, this person is very attracted to you as well with this Queen of Wands energy. Um, they see you as somebody who is a wish fulfillment for them. Um, they would like to have some sort of successful um, outcome with you. Um, they may even see you as someone that they want to have a stable family or home life with. So definitely this person, they may be um, opening up about this more to you because I do see a lot of communication coming towards you from them. Um, but it does look like you may be a bit withdrawn from this person and um, it's causing this person to feel very fearful, very off balance, like they need to defend the connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so the card says, <clears throat> conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Okay, so I do see here, there is an ending with this Ten of Wands. There is an ending to a difficult cycle or a difficult phase in a connection. You're definitely dropping this burden. And there is, I'm seeing um, a new beginning coming after this. Um, this could be with this person because we also have the Four of Wands. Um, this person may be wanting to restructure or re-stabilize um, the connection with you. Um, but definitely, whatever this Ten of Wands situation was, this difficulty, this hardship, um, um, that is coming to a close. Uh, I do see it's this this connection is completely changing. It's like the way it used to be is finished with this conclusions are in reach energy. And definitely this person is going to fight for um, to keep you. I do see them fighting to keep you. This is somebody who's willing to change the dynamic um, in order to keep you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, so this person sees you as their true love. This person does see you as the one that they want to settle down with. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as their happily ever after. I do see this person um, thinks very highly of you. They admire you. They have a lot of love towards you. Um, I do also see what that conclusions are in reach energy as you um, coming to some conclusions within about your own self and your personal goals and um, your personal perspective on things. It's like you're getting answers or you're getting clarity and um you're doing this um you know by um 
not attaching too much to emotions because we do have that queen of swords which is very um, logical or um, objective point of view but this person is very focused on you being um, their true love is what i'm seeing here so this person is definitely going to fight for this connection and to keep you okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius So the card says, elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Okay, so I do see with this, you going into this hermit mode, it's almost like you, you're taking your time and there is a, um, a message here about you not, not needing to rush yourself and not letting people rush you. It's like you need to take your time and um, reflect and go within and um, arrive at the conclusion that you feel resonates most with you without... Um, allowing people to pressure you or rush you because i do see this person is um, having a bit of a hasty energy with the eight of wands that this person may want things to start to move forward quickly um, this person is definitely feeling a sense of urgency they may even go into a bit of a panic with the seven of wands they really want to fight for this connection but um with this energy i do see that um this is not a time to rush things Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.